Jill, what's the number one issue facing you and your family, and, and how do you think the president is doing? The economy is the number one issue, because sure. where I live, our town is in abject poverty mm -hmm. since 99, when uh, President Clinton talked Congress into voting to trade with uh, China. The number one effect, uh, issue affecting us is, is absolutely the economy. Mm -hmm. um, I would, I would like, week to week, I would have a surplus left over out of my paycheck that I would put aside, um, you know, for different things. I, I, I like to play guitar, so mm -hmm. last year I bought two brand new Les Pauls, sweet. Beautiful. Bought um, a Gibson SG, sweet. Now I'm looking at selling them because mm. I am living paycheck to paycheck. Mm. Because the, I'm, I'm a type two diabetic. Mm -hmm. And I have a very restrictive diet. Like uh, I'll, I'll eat ramen noodles for a week. I'll eat spaghetti for a week. No big thing. I can't do that anymore. Mm -hmm. I have to, you know, I have to incorporate vegetables. I have to incorporate things that are now like protein and meat, and mm -hmm. it's all very expensive. Mm -hmm. And and part of that is, you know, price of gas, price of fuel. You feel like that's the number one for, social justice, the number one issue that is facing social the justice, which is not only in combination of the abortion. It's not a crime issue. Hmm. It's a morality issue. Um, it's a hope, an issue of hopelessness and morality. You give people hope, they're not going to commit crime. Basically, a right is any action or inaction that does not harm another, another being. That is what's right. And if we all lived by that, hmm. if we did no harm to any other being, including ourselves, the problem is our government has done a lot of harm to yeah. towns around the country politics as far as jobs. Is, when you send is. jobs to China, Mexico, our town, we have so much crime and we have 